Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. The Sukhoi 47 Burkitt, NATO reporting name Firkin, was a Russian experimental supersonic jet fighter developed by the Sukhoi company. A distinguishing feature of the aircraft was its forward swept wing, which gave the aircraft excellent agility and maneuverability. The project was launched in 1983 on order from the Soviet Air Force. Work moved at a rapid rate. It was intended to raise the experimental model of the fighter into the air by 1991, and it was planned that within five more years, the first serial produced Sukhoi 47s would be produced. Therefore, the Soviet Union would not lag behind the fifth generation Western competitor, the American Advanced Tactical Fighter Program, the ATF, which would include the YF-23 and the YF-22 technology demonstrators, which would later go on to give rise to the F-22 Raptor. However, fate had other plans for the Sukhoi 47. The situation of the increasing economic crisis into the USSR by the end of the 1980s and subsequent disintegration of the Union and the market reforms in Russia led to the significant reduction of the budget and allocations on military research and development. This generally proved to be the case with the development of new aircraft, and without financing, the purchases of new combat aviation equipment practically ceased. With official government funding now now frozen, research and development on the Sukhoi 47 continued only through Sukhoi. Originally known as the S-37, Sukhoi redesignated its advanced test fighter as the Sukhoi 47 in 2002, officially nicknamed Burkitt the Russian word for Golden Eagle. The Su-47 was originally built as Russia's principal testbed for composite materials and sophisticated fly-by-wire control systems, as well as new airframe technologies. The concept of forward-swept wings was not first applied to the Sukhoi-47. Viktor Belyev tested forward-swept wing gliders the BP-2 and the BP-3 as early as 1934 and 1935. Throughout World War II, numerous fighters, bombers, and other military aircraft could be described as having forward-swept wings. The Su-47 is of similar dimensions to previous large Sukhoi fighters, such as the Sukhoi-35. To reduce development costs, the Sukhoi-47 borrowed the forward fuselage, vertical tails, and landing gear of the Sukhoi-27 family. Nonetheless, the aircraft includes an internal weapons bay, and space set aside for an advanced radar. In addition to the inverted canard delta wing configuration, the aircraft was designed with twin vertical stabilizers and no horizontals stabilizers. The forward swept wings give the Sukhoi 47 an unconventional appearance. The inner portion of the wing generates a substantial part of the lift. The lift is not restricted by wingtip stall, and the lift-induced wingtip vortex generation is thus reduced. The ailerons remain effective at the highest angle of attack, and controllability of the aircraft is retained even in the event of airflow separation from the remainder of the wing's surface. The swept forward wing provides a number of other advantages as well. Higher lift to drag ratio, higher range at subsonic speeds, improved stall resistance, anti-spin characteristics, improved stability at high angles of attack, a lower minimum flight speed, and a shorter takeoff and landing distance. The Sukhoi 47 aircraft has very high levels of maneuverability with maintained stability and controllability at all angles of attack. Maximum turn rates and upper and lower limits on airspeed for weapons launch are important criteria in terms of combat superiority in close combat dogfighting, especially if the mission may involve engaging consecutive targets in different sectors of the airspace. The Sukhoi 47 has extremely high agility at subsonic speeds, enabling the aircraft to alter its angle of attack and its flight path very quickly while retaining maneuverability in subsonic flight. A disadvantage of such a forward swept wing design is that it twists when under load, resulting in greater stress to the wing than occurs with a similar straight or aft swept wing. 
the wings experience higher bending moments, leading to a tendency for the wings to fail structurally at lower speeds. The aircraft was initially limited to Mach 1.6 because the forward swept wings were primarily beneficial at transonic speeds, while losing out to aft swept wings at supersonic speeds. Western publications attributed stealth characteristics to the Sukhoi 47. The Burkitt may have incorporated radar absorbent coatings and materials, and Sukhoi integrated an internal weapons bay which could accommodate four long-range R-77 air-to-air missiles in addition to four external short-range R-73 missiles. We can therefore assume there was some primitive stealth concepts integrated into the aircraft, again with the RAM, radar absorbent material, and also the attempt to reduce the radar signature by housing the missiles internally in the weapons bay. However, Sukhoi would go on to state that the Sukhoi 47 had not been conceived initially as a stealth jet or a stealth demonstrator. Instead, the Sukhoi 47 design emphasized extreme dogfighting agility. The Sukhoi 47 has an American counterpart. The X-29 was an American experimental aircraft that tested a forward swept wing, canard control surfaces, and other novel aircraft technologies. The X-29 was developed by Grumman and the two built were flown by NASA and the United States Air Force. The X-29 design made use of the forward fuselage and nose landing gear from two existing F-5A Freedom Fighters and the control surface, actuators and main landing gear were from the F-16. The technological advancement that made the X-29 a plausible design was the use of carbon fiber composites. The wing of the X-29 made partially of graphite epoxy were swept forward at more than 30 Three degrees. Similar to the Sukhoi 47, the X-29 never entered serial production and is now on display in the Research and Development Gallery at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base near Dayton, Ohio. While serial production of the Sukhoi 47 never materialized and the configuration was not further pursued, the sole aircraft produced served as a technology demonstrator prototype for a number of advanced technologies later used in the 4.5 generation fighter, the Sukhoi 35, and the current fifth generation jet, the Sukhoi 57 Felon. The forward swept wing configuration was ultimately not pursued because it was mainly only advantageous at transonic speeds, while an aft swept wing was superior at supersonic speeds. As mentioned, the Sukhoi 47 never entered production and a sole demonstrator is as far as the program reached. However, it was last at the International Aviation and Space Show held at Zhukov International Airport in Moscow in August of 2019. Since the aircraft had not been seen in many years, speculation started to arise that the aircraft had been lost in an incident or was in some scrap yard somewhere. The opposite turned out to be the case. A few months after the start of the special military operation by the Russian Federation, news began to circulate about secret testing that once again involved the Sukhoi 47 Burkitt. It's now widely believed that the Russian Ministry of Defense is conducting tests with the Sukhoi 47 to assess the possibility of designing combat UAVs with forward swept wings. This news has led some to speculate that Russia is aiming to create drones capable of autonomous air-to-air -air engagement and therefore in need of UAVs capable of extreme aerial agility. It's clear that even 40 years after its introduction, the Sukhoi 47 Burkitt still continues to offer its services to the Russian Federation.